Okay, so um, what we're doing here is we're asking to find the volume. And actually, I'm going to redraw this real quick. It's okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, this was 8 inches, this was 12, and that was 10, right? Now, uh, what I want to do is I want you guys to understand what we have previously talked about. Because when we've talked about volume, we talked about volume of prisms, meaning the base was the same as the top. And a prism that has a circle base is what we call the cylinder. But what's so important about this is to find the area, of, or sorry, to find the volume of a prism, it was a very basic formula. Base times height, where B represented the base. So whatever your base was, if it was a, um, if it was a rectangle, if it was a square, if it was a pentagon, if it was a triangle, whatever it was, you found the area of the base and multiplied by the height, correct? Mm -hmm. It was very, very simple. Um, now what we're looking at is we're not looking at a prism. Because if you guys look at this, instead of the base being extended all the way to the top and having the same shape, it now converges to a single point. So this is what we call a cone, which you guys should be familiar with. But if I want to find the volume, I want you guys to understand these volumes are not going to be the same. Even if you know, that had 8 inches, I want you guys to see that instead of it just being extended, this goes to a single point, right? So Shane, if I was going to extend this to make it look like a prism, it would look something like that, correct? Roughly, something like that. That's why the like was included, right? Yeah. So do you guys see how that is? So what I want you guys to understand is this cone's volume is less than this volume. And so we look at our formula, and the reason why that works, it's actually exactly one third the size of the volume if it was a cylinder. So to do these problems, all we're simply going to do is apply the exact same formulas as we did for cylinders, but now multiply it by one third. The other thing that's important to you understand is we have two lengths, or two heights. We have the height of the figure as well as the height of the side, which is our slant height. Remember, for surface area, we had to use the slant height. So if you're not provided the slant height, you had to find it for surface area. However, for volume, the only height we are concerned with is the height of the figure. Okay. So it's the height of the figure. So we're going to use 12, not 10, as the height. So therefore, I have volume equals 1 third times base, which is pi r squared times height. So now I just plug in my um, information. So I have 1 third times pi r squared. Or r is 8. 8 squared is 64 times height, which is 12. And then if somebody didn't steal my calculator. See, I found it because I have a little thief here. So now I multiply this. So therefore, I just take 1 divided by 3 times pi times 64 times 12. And therefore, I have volume equals 804.24. And remember, um, we are dealing with inches. And since we're dealing with volume, that's going to be inches cubed. Yes. That's, this represents the area of the base. Area of a circle is pi r squared. I'm sorry? 